Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here, and today as you might notice, I am not in a room of my house. I am out and about, and I am in the park. This is actually the park where I filmed for my luxury cover. I had decided I needed to get out of the house, get some air, but I also really wanted to make a video, and uh, my new room is still incredibly dirty and not put together yet, so I haven't wanted to do as much filming in there because it's just very crowded and I have not very great lighting in there right now either because currently only one of three light bulbs is working so that's why we're here but I still wanted to be able to continue with my story times and I'm going back into the topic of bullying so this time I want to talk specifically about getting bullied for my sexuality. Um, I am a straight female. I know what I like at this point. I am an adult. <laughs> I've never had a true woman crush ever. I'm just into dudes. I've only ever been with guys and that's me, but... <laughs> Back when I was younger, I used to get made fun of a ton and called a lot of mean names. People thought that I was, like, gay, I guess. Uh, I had a lot of people think very legitimately that I was a lesbian or just call me it to hurt my feelings and so on. I had this best friend since, like, third grade. Uh, her and I were pretty much inseparable. We had this really good friendship, and um, we'd been through a lot of different things in the span of our life. Stuff had happened, and people had tried to separate us in the past, so we only got closer going through things together. But that led to getting made fun of more and more because the closer we got and the more we'd like hold hands or be laughing together and just having a good time, people would always look at it as something completely different than what it really was. And it was really frustrating to have to deal with because she was just a person I really cared about a lot and respected, looked up to, but people just made me feel so bad to be so close to her and I didn't know what the issue was. They're like, oh, you're holding hands. Oh, you're together all the time and you guys say that you love each other even though we're just girlfriends and we're just doing what we do. People just <laughs> would always be really, really mean to us. They thought that we were too loud and too hyper and crazy together and in a lot of ways it was kind of true but um we had to take a lot of crap just because we were friends with one another and because people thought that us being so close and hugging holding hands that all of that stuff was just like gay <laughs> I don't know when it stopped being acceptable to just be platonic with a person, but nowadays it seems like everybody just assumes things about you, even if they're not true. And of course, that's just life. Uh, but it was really, really hard at this one point when we started getting hardcore made fun of, like, oh, lesbians, haha, when our school went on a field trip to a baseball game, like everybody in the grade got to go. I don't remember what grade this was, but at the baseball game, uh, I was kind of bored. I'm not a sports person. Basically, the only sport that I actually understand and play is tennis, so everything else is a blur to me. I didn't understand any of the rules of baseball. I still don't. I don't know anything about baseball. And so I wasn't really paying attention to the game. I was more talking to my friend, obviously. And then it started to sprinkle out and she had a blanket on her. So she whips it over both of us to protect us both from the rain. And so we just decided to stay like that for a while and just talk underneath there and enjoy our time. But I guess that looked really weird to other people. I just remember 
uh, falling asleep on her at one point and then just talking to her underneath the blanket. And everybody started circulating these rumors. They're starting rumors that we had been kissing or like making out or something under there. And then within the span of literally just that day, it seemed like everybody was talking about that. They thought that that's what, what went down. Uh, that they wouldn't listen to us when we tried to protest. So like when we all got back, they took us into the gymnasium. And so while everyone else is just like playing with the basketballs and doing their own thing, I'm sitting with her on the ground, very upset because people started talking about how they thought that we had been kissing under there. They thought that we were lesbians and that we were like so gross or something. And I just felt really, really bad and shitty about myself because people were calling me names <laughs> and it was just really rough because as a person who is legitimately just into guys, I didn't really want to get that rap as being the lesbian because I already had enough issues with people thinking that I was not like a girl already and that I was uh, so guyish that I didn't want to get into like a scandal like that again because I just wanted people to accept me for me and know, hey, uh, I'm into dudes. She's just a really good friend of mine. I don't need this rap right now. But things just don't go down like that, and I know. And because of that incident, uh, I started being a little bit more wary of things. She'd hold my hand and I'd feel kind of like weird or guilty. And this is the part of the story where a lot of guilt on my part is going to go in, because I also feel like a bully and I never want to have to feel like that again because I know how bad it is to be bullied um, but we both went to campus life together and so there were people there that um, pointed out to us also that they thought like hey uh, are you a couple um, and there were volunteers there that asked me just straight up like oh hey uh, are you a thing with her are you into other women and I was like no, not at all. And then they asked me if I was comfortable to be holding her hand and everything. And I was like, well, yeah, uh, until now I was. Now I'm starting to feel like maybe I shouldn't if so many people are coming at me. And just because of all of the stuff that happened, uh, I think it's good. I think it was good in the long run, to be honest, because it helped me to be able to move forward in my own life and even though I really hurt her at first she was able to move further into her life and now we are still friends and we have our own separate lives and experiences and we don't hold any of that resentment but I was starting to feel just really really terrible about myself and I wasn't sure what to do to interact with her anymore so one day when our school was doing this um, holiday sort of thing, I don't even know what to call it. It was this big Christmas event and you'd go throughout the school to all these different stations and different stuff would be going on like hot cocoa or I don't know, whatever else. But she tried to hold my hand that day and when we were in the library together later on, I just sort of like eventually took my hand away and she seemed kind of upset. And that's when I explained to her about everything that I'd heard and had happened at Campus Life and even my own grandmother coming to me and being like, hey, uh, you guys really do look like you're a couple. If that's not what you want, you should probably do something. And so I kind of just backed off from her, uh, but I didn't really go about it very appropriately and she had some hurt feelings and I probably would have talked to her about it if I would have known just how bad it was, but I didn't and then things just happened the way they did. I'm really, really glad that I can still talk to her now and be her friend uh, because 
I really felt like I kind of messed up in that instance because I didn't want to lose her completely like that. And that was completely on me. Um, even after that, I still got so many insults from people. <laughs> so maybe that's just people in general being mean. I don't know, but that's definitely something I kind of regret and feel like I could have done a little better handling. But anyway, we had been friends for so long before that, and I don't think there's a single time throughout that span of friendship that there weren't some people making fun of us. Uh, we were sort of always just like those two easy people to pick on, I feel like. Like, oh, they're loud, they're crazy, uh, let's shut them down. <laughs> I used to be a very shy person, and I feel like my friendship with her opened me up quite a bit, only for me to get shot down by people again, which is what has caused a lot of my insecurities now, is trying to be myself like that with other people, and then getting a lot of backlash in return. But I'm really glad that I can look back at these times where people were mean to me now, and I don't really feel as bad about it. I'm just sort of like, that was extremely childish and I'm over it. And so now, like, in this video I just want to talk about it because it's something I feel more strongly about now. And I think that people should try to talk about their issues because then you can understand yourself better and work through it. And I want other people to know that, uh, People are always going to be mean to you, no matter what. Any skin color, body type, it doesn't matter what else. Um, I'm, like, for example, I'm pretty skinny, and skinny shaming is a thing, too. People make me feel really bad about being me, even though I'm really happy to be the way I am. People just still will make me feel bad, even just about that, like... Oh, you're so skinny, it must be nice to be you. And I'm just like, oh, um, I'm sorry. And then I just get feeling really bad about myself. And none of that's worth it. There's so many different forms of bullying and so many different things that people can shoot out at you. But I just want to say that, like, sitting here now and I'm going into a whole new phase of my life where all of the high school drama is about to just be dead and I can forget about that, I'm so thankful. And I feel like I can just be me. I've been through a lot of hard things this summer and just in the course of my life, but it's just helping me realize that sometimes you only have you to help yourself. Sometimes you're not going to have that person that's right there with you to guide you. So you need to be able to look at yourself and be able to decide what it is that you're feeling, how you should handle it, what to do to move on. And I feel like I've done a lot of growing up and it's easier for me to let go of a lot of different things now. I still have my issues as every person does, but I'm starting to finally get into that phase where I have confidence and especially making videos like this where I'm putting my face out on the internet for all kinds of strangers to see. I feel a bit more confidence now, also still some nerves, but it feels very nice to just be able to make videos and do what I love and open up and be me. So I really want to continue that and I'm never going to let another bully try to tell me that I can't do it because I know that I can. Um, so I think I've rambled enough. That was sort of longer than I intended, but... I get that way sometimes when I'm on a topic. Anyway, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to put in the comment section what you would like to see next from me, and subscribe for more. Um, I really hope to see you in another video, and goodbye.